Welcome back everybody. We're going to be building this nice little building here today. It's a two-car garage with a lean-to on the side. And I'm going to show you how to make a few shortcuts on this and build this. You can see we've got windows all the way around. This is an actual uh, display. on. It's very similar to a display we have on our lot, um, a physical building. And you might uh, see some pictures of it um, on our website other things um, it's actually the building it's in our intro even but uh, we're gonna build this building today on a 3d builder because I get a lot of questions about it. I've had a lot of customers order this building um, this design in particular because they like the display so much so I wanted to go ahead and do a video on this <laughs> So let's start from scratch here. We're going to do our little shortcut that we normally do and uh, auto populate a garage. And I do want to talk about the, the roof style. Um, that's very important. You can see we have the vertical style here selected. We can also do a box div, uh, which changes that corrugated metal to run front to back as opposed to from the ridge down to the eave, like the vertical. Or you can do the regular style here which is what a lot of people think of with a carport where it has the curved edge. But we're going to select the vertical roof style. And the reason why is because this is the better of the roof styles because that corrugation on the metal runs from the ridge down to the eave, which gives you the best water and snow shed off that building, which is ultimately what you want because you're protecting all those things that are inside that building. So now this is actually the size of the building that we're going to be working with is 24 by 26 um, but we are going to change the the side height but uh, so let's talk about the size real quick 24 wide is uh, of course this is the width on the gable end and it's exactly 24 foot from outside to outside but on the 26 inch measurement or 26 foot excuse me measurement that's the roof measurement from the front to the back of the roof and you can see there's a six inch overhang here, um, which is included in that 26 foot. So the footprint is actually 25 foot from front to back. So if you were pouring a concrete slab for this garage, you would pour it 24 feet wide by 25 feet long. And that building would sit directly on that, on that slab. Of course, we're gonna have a, a lean to here. The first thing we're gonna do is change the size. We're gonna change the leg height to 10 foot. And the reason why is to fit this lean-to out here and also make these doors certified. Um, we've got to have that wall height to have the overhead doors and then give enough clearance to have this lean-to out here. So we're going to go to sides and ends and we're going to select the right lean-to. And we're going to select lean only because we don't want storage on this. We want it to be completely open. And then we're going to go back and change our size here of our lean-to. Our size of our lean-to is going to be 12 foot wide. And we're going to do it the full length of the building. Now on our display on our lot, it's only 21 foot long. But we're going to do it the full length of the building on this um, design here. And then our lake height, we're going to go 8 feet. Or no, excuse me, 7 foot high. I selected the wrong one there. So we're going to go 7 foot high. Because there's two different roof pitches that we're working with here. Let me show you that. So the main building or the center building is a 312 pitch and then the lean-to is a 212 pitch. So you can see that there, how there's two different pitches on those roof styles. And that way that lean-to tucks up underneath the main building's roof. Gives it a little bit of a dimension there. Now we wanna put frame outs on this side. So we wanna close in this side so I'm gonna go back here to the right lean-to and go down. See, here's the three and 212 pitch. You can select that lean-to to have a 312, but we want it to have the 212. Right wall fully enclosed. There we go, now our wall is fully enclosed for us to go ahead and close it in. Um, I'm gonna select vertical on all this siding. You know me, I like the vertical siding where the corrugation runs up and down on the building. And I'll show you a quick here on the inside of the building. 
Um, when we run that metal up and down, we have to have these cross members in there. So you actually get more framing um, when you order a vertical style building where the, the actual siding runs vertical on the building. We're gonna certify this building. And I'm also gonna put, uh, let's fully insulate the inside of this building with the R17. We have a double bubble, and a lot of people use that as a radiant barrier. Um, if you're not gonna climate control the building, the, what the double bubble will do is make sure that that metal building doesn't condensate, and then the water doesn't drip down on your things inside of the building. And that's a good option to double bubble the roof. And you can also double bubble the walls to make even the walls have that, um, that radiant barrier on it. But we want to assume that maybe someone's gonna turn this into a workshop. So maybe, Maybe they'll have a heater in there, or maybe they'll have air conditioning during the summer. So we wanna make sure that the center building or the center section, which is the main building, not the lean-to, um, is fully insulated. So we're gonna select all those here, and that will give you the pricing. If you're working with a 3D tool on your own, it'll give you the pricing of what that R17 woven is. And with that R17 woven, you will get that R value so you can heat and cool that, that building. Well, it's gonna freeze up on me here. Come on. There it goes. Okay. So now let's go down to color, and then we'll change our, our frame outs and our doors. Um, this is a very popular color style, and I think it's because I do have this display um, on our lot, the actual physical building. Uh, so a lot of people like this color. And it is black roof, black trim, and then clay on the sides and ends. Now if you like this um, this design, go ahead and subscribe down below because we do a lot of designs on here of the garages. Two car garages, one car garage. We're actually gonna do another uh, one car garage this week, I believe. It's another design that we're doing. Um, so we try to really do those two one car garage designs on here a lot. So go ahead and, and click the subscribe and the bell notification down below and you'll actually get a notification of when we actually post those videos. So that way you can stay up to speed if you see a design that you really like, um, if you're out there looking for a garage. So let's put the wainscoting on here. And that wainscoting gives it the two-tone look. You'll see that there, see how that, now we can leave it just like this. So some people would want this extra coverage here on this lean-to, and they would want that, that lean-to covered in. Maybe they were gonna park a trailer underneath there or, or a pickup truck. Um, you know, lawnmowers, uh, tractor, whatever you were gonna put underneath there. Maybe you wouldn't want the frame outs like I had on the original design. So you can leave it like this. Let's go to the doors and frame outs because we do want to put those on there. Let's change these to the um, nine by eight certified. And then let's do the 45 degree angles <clears throat> on the garage door. You can see the pictures of this building. We have them a lot on our social media, so Facebook. Um, I also think we put it up on Instagram and Twitter. So if you go follow us on our social media, um, you'll actually be able to see pictures of this actual display that we have. Let's see, certified garage and 45. That way if you wanna see it live and in person, you can, ha you can see that um, there. And if you like this design, but you want to see other designs, go ahead and go to our channel. And we've again, we've got a lot of videos on enclosed garages, um, some with lean to, some without. So okay, now we're going to put the the frame outs on this lean to on this side, and these frame outs are actually 11 by 7 because we only want to have one upright in the middle. So we're going to have two sections here. That's how we're going to do this. So we're going to go to um, custom. going much faster than the, there we go, okay. So 11 and seven foot high. It'll populate. Oh, excuse me, six foot high. Okay, and then we're going to do the 45 degree angles. I, I forgot this is seven foot out here, so this leaves us with a six foot 
frame out. So if we go here, and then we say we want to we want to clone this. So just hit clone; it'll automatically populate one that's uh, the same size. Everything. There we go. And then if we hit center here, when we're in this door tab. Uh, the center button comes up that way you can center your your frame out and there it goes now I'm going to show you something else in the doors and windows on the uh, centering so if we uh, move this door to the center and then we say I want a window but I want we're gonna put uh, there's two different size of windows that this manufacturer offers um, we can do a 30 by 30 which is what we'll populate automatically here but we actually want to do the 30 by 36 on this building so there's two size windows you can do the 30 by 30 or the 30 by 36 okay and then we want to say clone so we want two of these I'm going to show you a little trick here with our 3d designer if you're going to be using it the digital designer here so if we put these in order right Let's see, we want to do that like that. And then we're still on the door tab. If we hit this center button down below here, I'll close that, it will center these. There we go. Now I gotta adjust that. There we go. And there we go. Okay, now we want to put a window on the center back here. And we're gonna do the 30 by 36 window back here as well. So we're consistent with the window size. And as we're finishing up this design, because we're really close, I do want to talk to you about uh, going to our website. If you've got any questions, you can put them in the comments below. But we've got a lot of different pictures and stuff of different buildings on our website. So if you go to our website, mondohomes.com, that's M-O-N-D-O-H-O-M-Z.com. Uh, there's a lot of different pictures there. You can fill out a request form for a quote. Or you can call us at 573-375-5753 You can get someone to uh, help you out on the phone. Or you can schedule a live custom design where we'll actually do a Zoom meeting with you and we'll actually design your building right here in front of you on this 3D builder on a Zoom meeting on a screen share. So you can see it as we build it and you can make changes to it and see the prices as we're building. Um, but here you go, here's the building. So there it is. So if you got any questions, again, put them down below or go to the website. Look us up on social media. All right, thanks, guys.